back with another vlog so what we will be doing today is installing this package that i received in the mail so let's go ahead and open this up and install it all right so what we have here is let's get this off yeah i got it okay so what we have here is a glove box handle Apparently my car did not come with one. I'm guessing it was broken by the previous owner before me or before him, but it was broken so I had to order a new one. So let's go ahead and replace this. As you guys could see, the handle's broken, so we're gonna go ahead and replace that. If I could get this open. Oh, there we go that easy just shaking and it pops open so i need to remove the registration and insurance so let's go ahead and take this apart i need to remove the whole glove box in order to get to those bolts right there so i'm guessing you take this one off right here and that should make a big difference and hopefully it comes off with just this Okay, I guess not, so let's keep looking. All right, so I managed to get the glove box down. Now, my guess is we just take all these screws off right here. Okay, so I'm guessing we didn't have to take the whole thing off, just three screws, which would be, I'll show you guys in a bit, but let me go ahead and get this off right here to get the lock off of it. That's kind of weird. So I've been trying to figure this out right here on how this thing pops off, but I'm having a little bit of trouble. So Let's go ahead and open this up and see how that like kind of goes so we can get an idea of how to remove it. So I did all that for nothing and how it comes off it comes off through here through the top end you just got there's a couple clips in there that you have to get off all right so for those of you out there changing the glove box lock don't be stupid like i was and break this so i broke this trying to like clip it off from the top but i was like completely wrong so i might have to order a new one thanks to my dumbass all right so now what you have to do is there is like this little brass plate in there so now to take that off, all you have to do is press it in and push out and boom, there you go, that easy. So I didn't have to do all that unnecessary stuff and break it, but I did, but whatever. Now I gotta put it in here. And then just to put it in, you do the same thing, you press it in and then you make sure that little pin inside lines up with this hole right here. So you have to take off this back piece in order to actually get it in and what you got to do is you press that little brass thing on and then there's some on the side that you have to press in as well you just put it in there spin it around and it'll snap into place once that is done you just go ahead and put this back on and i gotta spin this real quick and of course it's in the wrong way so Okay, and that should be the right direction here, and it is. So we snap this back into place, and voila, there you go. Just sucks that this is broken. I'm going to try to find that piece to see if I could find it and glue that back together so it doesn't look horrible in the meantime while I order a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back on. For a second there I thought I lost my keys but I found them now so let's see if this works now there you guys have it open close close open so now I completely destroyed the old one and I guess you could say you learned from mistakes. Alright, now that it's on, let's go see if it works. Sorry for the camera being a little shaky, so that's 
Uh, okay, so let's see what's happening here. So that is okay. That's locked right there. I didn't lock it all the way. That's why I kept opening. So that is locked, and that is unlocked. Okay, so it works perfect, and I'm pleased with the results. All we got to do now is glue that piece back on, and I got to find that. So what we are going to do next is show you guys another part that we got and install it. All right, so let's recap real quick on how to change it because my video kind of sucked before we move on to the next one. Okay, so there's three bolts, which would be one, two, and three. It comes off, you take it off. So you take off that white piece that goes behind this and there's a little brass pin. You press it in, you take it out. You press the pin in to put it back on and then the other little pins around it, you gotta make sure you're pressing them in as you put it in. And then once it's in there, you spin it. But you gotta make sure you put it the right way so the dial faces the dial on that white plastic. Right, let's get out of this car and install the next part. All right, to complete, well not complete, but to make the interior a lot better than what it is now, I ended up buying this. So let's go ahead and open it. All right, here we go. All right, so what I have here are the speaker covers that I was missing for the interior. We're going to go ahead and put these on. All right, but before we do so, I got to sand them down and spray it because it looks like it's getting rusted in some area. So we're going to go ahead and sand that down and respray them and install them on the vehicle. All right, so what we're going to do is push these tabs up and then remove the actual metal part of it on both so we can get them sprayed because we don't want to get any paint on the cushion inside of it so let's go ahead and do that all right now we have both of them off now to sand them down with the little bristle brush and the drill that i have so i'm gonna sand them down and then respray them get them back on and put them on the vehicle and i'll show you guys how it looks all right so i sanded both of them down this one really didn't need much i didn't really see any rust and where i did i did sand it down this one had gone and this it was rusted inside underneath inside underneath the paint it was rusted so i sanded it down i found a couple of rust spots and now it's down the mostly down to the bare metal so i'm going to go ahead and clean them up and then spray them put them back on and install them if you will tell me i'm the only one that you love life could be a dream sweetheart hello hello again they're painted they're back on now let's put them on the vehicle this would be the left hand side so the driver's side and these two clips in the bottom i believe go in first and it's on Alright, time for the passenger side. Now we put these two in first and snap it on. Alright, so both the speaker covers are now on and the interior looks a million times better, especially with the centerpiece, the speaker covers. So now all that's left to do is fix that and figure out why it's not closing correctly maybe it's hitting something there's something in the way i gotta replace that centerpiece right there gotta get the hood cover for the 
cluster I gotta get those covers for the handles whatever you want to call that um, I gotta fix that little lock thing that I broke today and besides that we should be good also uh, might get a new carpet because this one is missing and that looks horrible so yeah we need a new carpet and besides that the interior should be ready to go maybe some like little minor pieces like that so it's, the interior is almost complete it's about i would say 85 percent there 90 percent there just a couple little things and it's good to go all right guys so the speaker covers are now on the glove box actually opens up and closes now it just sucks that i had to break that little piece but i will look for it and find it completely lost track of where it went so i will have to look for that find it glue it back together or order a new one or just glue it back together in the meantime then order a new one so i mean it doesn't bug me too much but it will that's like a thing that i do have to fix because it will bug me later on once the vehicle is completed so with that being said we're going to end this video here make sure to like share comment and subscribe hit that little bell button to get notification notifications every time i post something so once again at range keep on rotating peace